What would you do if you were told you were a saint? I think death is, has always fascinated me since I was a young child. Um, I think it's the perfect uh, fertile ground for creativity in the arts and especially in writing. So as a, as a writer, it's just a fascinating uh, topic for me. I got the idea for this novel the last time I was in Mexico. So it's very inspired by this country. Um, I was seeing a lot of religious iconography and art in a lot of the shops and markets. So I went back home to the States to, um, to research uh, some martyr stories to find out if there was something there that I could write about. So when I read the stories of Agnes, Cecilia, and Lucy, um, in particular, I felt uh, very connected to their stories. Um, first off, Lucy, um, who is the patron saint of sight, um, she gouged out her own eyes to make herself less attractive to men because she didn't want to marry at such a young age. Mm -hmm. So hers was um, definitely a story of commitment and uh, defiance that I found fascinating uh, in that time at such a young age. And then Cecilia I came across, um, she's the patron saint of music, and I felt um, bringing her into the modern age as a struggling musician was uh, something that, that thrilled me and kind of, uh, I, I felt her story was probably most like mine. Moving from the Midwest, a small town in the Midwest to New York City to try to make it as a musician and that struggle um, was something that I really wanted to um, bring to Cecilia's story. Her martyr story is um, she was ordered to be beheaded because she refused to marry and uh, she continued to sing three days after her head was um, chopped off. So there was that uh, obviously uh, determination um, that I, I love to have um, in my stories to never give up and to have faith in yourself. And then there's uh, there when I came across Agnes I knew right away that I wanted to include her for um, for she was a, she for for I, I brought her into the modern age as a hopeless romantic. She's the youngest of the three, and um, at thirteen, her martyr story is she refused to to marry, and so she was stripped of her clothes and sent to a brothel. And as she was walking, her hair grew down to her ankles to cover her body and protect her. So there was a real supernatural element to her story that fascinated me. Oh, of course. Um, I think that I think that our vampire stories, our zombie stories, our stories of wizards and magic and supernatural paranormal love stories um, all stem from these martyr stories. Um, I think they're the the I think martyr stories are. Um, are really love stories at their heart. And I think that a lot of literature, um, modern literature, borrows from them. I joke that uh, I was Mexican in a past life because um, this is where I think my soul lives because of that um, relationship with death and the humor and the also the respect they pay to to their uh, beloved, um, their deceased. Um, and, and it's something that really fascinates me about this country and something I really, I really relate to. And, and since I really deal with death in my work, um, I feel probably most at home here. <laughs> I definitely think this is um, this has grown with my audience, and it's grown with me as a writer. But as as much as, as it is darker and grittier, um, there is less humor. Um, it is very similar to the Ghost Girl books, with um, the themes of love, acceptance, loss, um, and longing. Kiss me now.